another episode of Talk to Me. <laughs> hey. We're here to get today's trending topics with some pop, the cork with oh. Grace Butler. <laughs> hey, let's oh go. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope, nope, just one south. Just it one was south. a bop. It was a bop. It was good. Thanks, Nicole. Hey. This is our new intro. No, nah, I, I was gonna say, I don't know what the intro <laughs> is because I was like, she forgot to say, I'm gonna tell you this is talk. She was in a good out. mood. I was tired of listening to the same intro <laughs> through and through. <laughs> New one for the holidays. Let's go. Right. <laughs> well, what is everybody drinking? Let's start there. What do you got? I've got a Block the Block from Cooper's Hawk. Oh, I need to try that one. Oh. I have a. 2017 Merlot. Hey. <laughs> could be apple juice. Could be apple juice. That ain't apple juice. That ain't apple Who's asking? You don't know. 21 Lemonada. Ooh, Lemonada. Yeah. Lemonada. <laughs> well, it's a Christmas episode, so of course I got my hot cocoa. Hey, come on, hot cocoa. You got are you milk or water? Or Bailey? Oh. You know she got no milk in there. I was gonna say oat milk. Oat oh, okay, milk. <laughs> that's my girl. I love me some oat milk. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. But I'm telling you right now, what we do not love is last month, Travis Scott had a concert and eight people died, including a 14 year old among them. Apparently, there's speculation that people rushed the stage, at which point some people are saying Travis Scott should have stopped the concert but he kept going at least for another 30 minutes he kept going as a result both he and drake are now involved in a lawsuit claiming that they were being negligent and that is how these people died so the question that i'm posing is when do we take responsibility for ourselves and when is actually the responsibility and when is it actually the cause or the responsibility of the performer based off of the videos i don't think they knew what was going on like I think they, I mean, you got to think concert, it's so much happening. It's loud. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't fault them on that. Like I fault whoever. Security. Yeah. The yeah. venue, the security. security. And when you're on the stage, it's hard to even like see what's going on in the audience. Not even that. Who did it? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't place the blame on somebody who didn't like they were drugged. They could have been drugged or something like that. So it's like, I don't know. I, I don't like know. I think I'm mixed because I feel like, you know, at concerts, you always have like a mosh pit regardless, right? And there's always right. people, you know, either real hyped or whatever. But then at the same time, I feel like you can see that. Like, and if you see the videos, he was up on a platform. He wasn't just on a regular stage. So if you're up on a platform and you can look down at your crowd or your audience, you can see a big old circle or a mosh pit of people just kind of like going crazy or falling. I don't know. I'm mixed. But what was he supposed to do? Jump off the stage and break nah, it up? Just stop the stage yes. and be like, hey, yo, security, hey, yo, pop in, get him. But they, but they had already knew. Everybody was seeing it. Like, everybody was already rushing, you know, towards what was going on. So I just feel like he caught on late. Like, oh, crap, what's going on? But see, I think for me, it's it's the time that he caught on late, like a whole 30 minutes. There was nobody in your ear that said, hey, something's going on down there. Or like, you know, right. I'm like, where, where, where do we, where do we say, like, I don't think they should be sued. Like, I don't think that, you know, whoever started the problem should be sued or whoever, however this got started, that's who you sue. I don't think they should be sued, but I'm like, somebody could have buzzed in your ear, music stops. Like, you know, like if it was raining, <laughs> You know something was happening, so I think people just want to place blame right now because they don't know what happened. And so they it, somebody with money involved, they, somebody's going to sue them, right? So right. This, this is how it is now. I don't think they should be sued, but I do think, as hopefully decent human beings, they should just be like, "All right, where can we help?" Right. And I don't know if it's going to be money, or I don't know if it's how they, but whatever. If you're a decent human being, how can you help? Type. Thing. I will offer my free PR <laughs> services. <laughs> they have to cover the funerals. That's all I'm going to say. Cover the funerals and this goes away. Okay, but see, I, so I, I mentioned that. that I, I, heard, I heard you on the radio that they were reaching out to the families. So I don't know. 
the amounts of money that they are going to offer them to help, but it does seem like they're going to do something. Yeah, because I don't think, because I feel like it'll get to the point where it's like, well, my child's life isn't worth such and such thousands or such and such million, you know, or such and such for a funeral. So I think it should just be an undisclosed amount, whether they do take care of a funeral or they just don't. I don't think it needs to be shared because it's just like, right. just be a decent human being. That's me. Right. My heart is a decent human being, but whatever. All right. Well, speaking of decency and trying to be a decent human being, everybody wants to give their kids gifts during the holidays. But if you don't buy them now, you may not have any. According to economists, the supply chain is so backed up that unless you are going to order your gifts way ahead of time, they said don't even wait for Black Friday because it may be too late, you may lose out. This happened last year too, right? Yeah, I don't I think remember. It Everything I ordered came last year, like on time was, Amazon was good to me last oh. year. I feel like there was a shipping back order on a lot of things last year too. It was, yeah. but as for me in my house, it don't matter because my son don't act right. He ain't getting in no way. <laughs> You're really Star that mom. Face. You gonna get that baby a lump of coal? You really that mom? He not even getting that. I got that. That means I got to find the coal. I got to buy no coal. Ain't no coal you here. You know what? Do it if you Girl. want to. His aunties will take care of it. We're going to get him some. <laughs> I better, you better start the order right now because shipping is backed up, remember? <laughs> Whatever. You, you, will not, you will not have that baby come home to a bear tree. Oh, Lord. Oops. Santa just, skipped our he, house this year. Put your Grinch twin away. Put your Grinch twin away. Pack it away. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> I started Christmas shopping um but definitely keeping it at a minimum um yeah i'm gonna just give my kids money for real because i'm tired of buying clothes that they don't like i'm tired of looking for shoes that they don't want um mm -hmm. they just gonna get this money yeah <laughs> they, just, they just ungrateful the older they get <laughs> You're right. yeah we yeah. may do well we usually do like a couple small like a couple bigger things um and then kind of let let the rest of the stuff, whether it's like grandparents or aunties or uncles or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. The older they get, the harder it is. More stuff they need. Beats and phones and PlayStation. They got everything. What the hell am I supposed to get these kids? <laughs> my son don't even know what he wants. He has everything. It's a no. no a my friend of mine told me a while ago. I'm exhausted. I don't know what these kids want. Right. You know, my kids opened up their gifts and they were like, so next Christmas, can we have? And I was like, I ain't never next Christmas, my mama, a day in my life. Woo! A friend of mine <laughs> told me a couple of years ago, Jesus got three gifts and you ain't better than Jesus. So you better pick your three. Oh my God. You know what? Send, send my nephew to me for Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely. Shall I not act right, right now or later? <laughs> You know, you know, Nicole will book a flight in a second. Okay, don't tell me it's a good time. I've taken, I've taken a book from Antonia's page. Like we started doing like more experiences over gifts. So like yeah. I think two was it two years ago maybe we did um we went to see the Grinch on uh, what was it like a live Grinch movie or something like that. Mm -hmm. So kind of doing more of those things, you know, versus like gifts. You know, we are scheduled. Say. Yeah, we're going to the basketball game the day after Christmas. So kind of finding that kind of stuff to do instead because like you said, I, they have everything. I could yeah, definitely right. Maybe I'd look up to doing something like that. Like taking them tubing or something, because like what else I, do you get? Yeah, we usually did ice, but I think last year it was closed and then so we gotta see what this year is looking like. But I'm going to take them to, it's a place, it's a place called Dylan. And basically they have like ice caves and they put lights inside of them. So then you have like the Christmas lights and the caves and everything. You can like go through them. You can sit down on like ice furniture and stuff. Yeah. So you can never go wrong with an experience. Yeah. Yes. The, um, exactly. the Gaylord usually has the ice. I don't know. They do themed ones, like either the Grinch or I think they did like Charlie Brown one year, maybe I'm lying. Yeah. No, I think mm -hmm. it was, yeah. They have the slides and stuff. You put on the big coats and go down. We usually do that. I mean, even now these kids' experiences are bigger because I used to go to the little lights that you drove through back in off and of Seneca. the Upper Mill Road. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah. And I thought I was balling. I was like, oh, I used to go every single year and that was great. My kids are just like. My kids will not. 10, I don't know what to do for, for I'm going to call them 13. I don't know what to do for a 13 year old and a 10 year old anymore because that Addison might like, they not going to like. So it's like, <laughs> I got to find what they want and then where she might like. <laughs> Well, she gonna like everything. It's the first time for her. Her eyes gonna be wide open. Right. She... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, that's all the pop the cork topics we have for today. So don't have a concert and not stop when people are rushing your stage and <laughs> uh, get your Christmas shopping in early. That's all I got to say. But when we come back, when we come back, our guest, the one and only Movie Cousins, that's right, in Black Reviews, is coming to hang out with the mom, with the Talkspace and Co. Company. All right, so it is the holiday season, and that means it's time for all the films that give you the warm and fuzzies. Yeah. <laughs> um, joining us today, we have Dom and Tim, um, our movie cousins from Reviews in Black. Hey, y'all. Y'all look so cute, y'all PJs. Y'all look just as cute as y'all want to be. (laughs) Y'all are cute with y'all hands. Thank you. So now just bop you. You bop me, but you're fine. (laughs) (laughs) So we actually have a quite assortment of movies um, that I think would probably help tickle everyone's fancy from those who are like all the way in the Christmas spirit, like they already got their Christmas tree up to all of those that may be a little bit on the grid side, but you know, we, and everything in between. So we got a little bit of something for everybody. So I'm gonna let Tim go first because I think he's like the oh, Christmas no, 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 no. Christmas guy. You go home, go because I got a prop for mine. Oh Lord, okay. So uh, my first movie, right? So I'm not the biggest Christmas movie person. I like to do the throwback stuff. So my all time favorite Christmas movie is actually an animated film called A Gear Without Santa Claus. If you don't, if you don't know anything you about sis, I'm, you better say I'm it. Mr. Come on, I'm Mr. Mr. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Never heard of that. Yes. That is my all time. Like anytime I think Christmas, I always think Pete Meister, I just Meister. Every single time. I still sing the song to this day. So that's like my jam. Again, it's a super, super throwback film, but I think it's something that's really cool to kind of get kids around, introduce them to something that's really, really throwback. Again, has the fun jingles, and it's just a really good feel-good film all the way around. So that is my first pick, A Year Without Santa Claus. I've never heard of it. You know, I think, I've never heard of A Year Without Santa Claus. No, no, I think my only go-to Christmas movie is um, A Christmas Story, right? With- yeah, I mean, that's everybody. <laughs> that was going to be it. Is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's all that, I know. <laughs> that one is Home Alone 2. And Home, and home Alone. Oh, man, yes. I can't get with the Home Alones. I can't get with them. Yeah, you know, I just got tired of them after number two. I'm kind of with you, too. After number two, I was like, okay, how many times? How many times are you going to lose a little boy? and where and where's the department of children's services where are they they? where are they listen don't (laughs) read read too much in it just know that it was like the best one like the one when he got lost in new york yeah yeah that was a good one i like that that was a good one i like that that was the best one that one and i like um what is it called uh santa claus is coming to the the cartoon yeah 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 
I can't oh, remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like <laughs> Elf. That's a really yeah. good Elf. Elf was good. Elf, Elf is on my list. Elf, Elf is so good to me. I don't know what it is about Will Ferrell in that role, but he's just so <laughs> endearing to the point where it makes me want to cry. He's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. And he seems so sincere. Like, you just want to be like, sir, yeah. I'm going to bring you Christmas. I'm going to bring it to you. He's so he's sweet Will in that Ferrell. role. Yeah. I love that. I think, uh, I love that movie. Mine as a kid was Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah, I was that's just thinking one. about that. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, that was a good, good one. one. <laughs> I forgot about that one. That's I like great. that one. Yeah, that's a really, really good one. Now, this one now, is a little bit like more the, Grinch too. the Grinch is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, come on. Now, oh, the Grinch which Grinch is good. version of the Grinch? Because the Grinch, you know, I like the cartoon. The okay, car- I, hear the cartoon. I like the cartoon, the original cartoon more than I like the movie. I like the real one better. I like Jim Carrey. Yeah. I think, I think Jim Carrey did his thing. I don't know if I could choose between one or the other. They each have their things, but I think if I were to watch it now, I would watch Jim Carrey's version. Yeah, that yeah. was oh, that good. was one of my favorites too. I like the ones yeah. on like Channel Seven. You know, like Rudolph and the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the point, the rank. What is it called? Ranking and something. I know it's, the claymations. Yes, yeah, I'm yeah, all that the yeah. they're, they're always good. good. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, the Grinch I can relate to as an adult. It's, Absolutely, <laughs> it's real. It's your heart small. <laughs> I believe you. Yes, the Grinch. I believe you. <laughs> but you know what, Dom and Tim, what do you think? What elements do you think make the perfect like holiday film? Like, what do you have to have in a holiday movie to make it Ooh. bomb? Ooh, to make it bomb, you gotta. You have to have one humor. Have to have to have the humor. You have to have a good, either a good, um, a love story or a, I don't want to say love story. That's not like, that's that's like rom-com, the, that's not a Hallmark but, movie. But, Hallmark. but but something like where there's a, a divide between like family or something, and there's something that brings them back together. I think yeah, every enjoy. every last uh, Christmas movie you see has that same something. thing going yeah. on. Whether yeah. it's Home Alone or uh, Christmas Carol, all yeah. of that stuff. But oh, yeah, right. something where it brings people. Yeah, Christmas Carol's a good one. Yeah, yeah something. Yeah, something that brings people Jack together. Ross. Oh, Jack Ross is Ooh. a great one. That's a really great one. I even really like, and this is it's a bit unorthodox, but I actually really, really like. It's the animated one where it's like Jack Frost, the Easter Bunny, and the Guardians. Yes, yes. the Guardians. I actually, really so like that one. That's my movie. Yes. <laughs> I make the kids watch it every year on Christmas Eve. I'm like, we watching the Guardians. Oh, I, I love it. I really <laughs> like that. Yes. I'm so glad you said Man, that. Hugh yeah, Jackman as the bunny. All day. Yeah. All day. The All day. I hilarious. love him. Love I have, him. I have yeah. a question because y'all really love movies. Yeah. And I could see it. I could feel it. How did this how did this passion come about to really like love movies, analyze movies, like really like I don't know because yeah. Yeah, it's 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 movies are life. So kind of in short <laughs> form. <laughs> um when before we got together and my family, my dad, uh, we were military. And so he would every Tuesday bring home new DVDs and every weekend we would go to the movies. That was literally like our family activity. I don't know, same thing on Tim's Five. They had the $5 Tuesdays at the movie theater. They would go to the movies. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $
We weren't in a relationship, but mm-hmm. we had a commitment to watch movie, a whole list of movies for the entire year. So we called growing. it. Yeah, it kept growing. So we called it our cinemation ship. I mean, yeah. you know where movies lead to. So I mean, here you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, are, you hit that one right on the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but that's I'm dope. Like, that's dope. I just had to ask because I'm like, who, like, y'all really love movies. And we yeah. do. Yeah. We do, we do. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like it. Yeah, it's and I think we're, like we're raising little movie nerds too. So it's really yeah. cool to see them and their little taste of the movies and what they like to watch. It's Binging so cool. Right. <laughs> Right, my youngest daughter, she is so into like movies and certain series to where she now downloads them on her iPad. So even when we're not connected to Wi-Fi, she can still watch them. Mm-hmm. Like that's how obsessed she is with just stories, storytelling, and with certain characters. So it's really fun. It's really fun. Let's it. <laughs> now I got a Christmas movie that I don't know if it's really Christmas, but it's Christmas enough for the non-Christmas people to watch. Friday after next. Really? Yes, yes. No, they no, were no, stealing no. gifts no, no. for holiday. There was a no, no, Santa no, 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 going around, no. right? No. Yeah. Or is it next Friday? Friday after next. It's Friday, Friday after next. next. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were stealing. They were stealing the gifts from the house. Yeah. Kind of he said, "Don't try it." It's it. it very okay. cheeky. I so this is this is that was like for the adults who don't have kids who want to like jump on something, or like your kids have gone to grandma's because they're helping her write gifts or that type of thing, and you got a moment where you could just kind of sip on some wine. That's what I would watch. That's where I would go. <laughs> I would like to also throw in there for my adults, bad Santa. That's it. That's it. That's Bad Santa is a good that. one. It was I funny. like Bad yes. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, that was, was funny. I tried twice. I can't make it through it. Is Bad Santa? Yeah, Bad Santa. I don't think yeah, I've ever made it. I can't make it through it. Yeah, oh I don't think God. I've ever made it through it. That was very cheeky. Mine was I'll tell you. A, oh. um, sorry. Go no. ahead, Lynn. This, no, you go. This Christmas, you know, with Chris Brown. And yeah, then, best man holiday. Best man holiday. Oh, best man holiday. That's a classic. That's I a will never watch that movie again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you, you can only watch it once, maybe twice, maybe, maybe twice. Because it was crying. Yeah. It choked. It choked you up a little bit. Oh, yeah. best man holiday messed me up. Like yeah, I didn't want to celebrate movie Christmas. Cry. I was messed up. <laughs> yeah, I was choked up on that one, and I don't even get choked up, but that one had me like. Me too. Hot, when hot he, hot he ran off like, the football field, I was done. Like, done. I had no done. Emotions anymore. None. Yeah. I was doing like a done. silent. The tears were just dropping down. My husband was like, Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> so they're talking about some, come on, trees. Man up. Man up. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> Holiday. It's, it's over. I like. Yeah, that's um, a tough one. Like I, I, the nightmare, the nightmare before Christmas is one of my favorites. Yes, that's a great back, one. Back, back I've never back. seen it. That's a great yes. one. Yes. It's an animation, <laughs> but you have to watch it. This year. But I've never seen it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I've seen bits. I think that's a Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Yeah. Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. Yeah. I yeah. love that. One. Yeah. I like that one too. It's a very dark creepy. version, very dark and very creepy version of how Halloween characters do Christmas yeah, or how they fair. would do Christmas. But it's brilliant. It's good. That's a good yeah, one. Sure. That's a real good one. All right. I'm so, like, what do you think about Christmas films that aren't really Christmas films? And I'm going to say it Die Hard is not a Christmas film. It is not. It's not. It's like, not well, thank you. Thank you. But it's always Christmas when something happens in Die Hard. <laughs> I watched it the other day when he they were going on the plane, right? Yep. And it was Christmas. That's very yeah. true. I don't know. I I like the again. I'm not the biggest Christmas movie fan, and so any excuse to kind of watch something different that has a splash of Christmas, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, let's watch this Christmas movie. Movie, and I'd be the one to throw on like a Die Hard because it yeah. just has a splash of snow in there. I'm like, yeah, Christmas, you know. But I don't necessarily rein it as like Christmas. No, I think Die Hard was uh, one of those action movies that broke the mold. You know, all these uh, genres of movies always have their seasons throughout the mm-hmm. year. And um, I think Die Hard was one of the, I don't, I don't want to say the first because I don't know that for sure, but it's one of the few movies that mm-hmm. have come out that's an action movie around Christmas. Mm-hmm. Well, you Lethal know. Weapon, and they, have, they were in Christmas too, but one of the Lethal Weapons. I think they were. Uh, mm-hmm. scary so that, but Die Hard and Lethal Weapon, they were kind yeah, of right, right there. Yeah. But there's just not too many action movies around Christmas. No. Well, other than Marvel now. Yeah, other than Marvel now. It's very <laughs> true. They got a whole series around Christmas now. Yeah. 
that's a uh, Hawkeye that's getting ready to come out. His whole thing is Christmas. Yeah, and he got Spider Man coming out. Yeah, man, he got Spider Man coming out. So All right. I'm not Christmas. That's gonna be, but so say it's you and Bay, and it, no kids. The kids are off again, right? Um, mm-hmm. What are your top five lists for the grown folk movies? Top five. Don't think about it. Go. Is that Christmas? Are they Christmas movies or no? Yes or no? I mean, <laughs> okay. No. Uh, but no, I, I would definitely throw in there Friday after next. Again, it's Christmas enough to still have a good laugh and still have something uh, fun with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this one's tough because we're not romance people. No. Like, at all no no and so we i think all our picks would be very different so i'd say friday after next um i would probably say and this was really odd i didn't even think of this one in the beginning i'd probably watch the preacher's wife the what the I, preacher's wife uh, I watch, I watch oh the that was good yeah. Because yes. that's the whitney Friday. Houston. Was over, not watch one day it's very sad. An angel it's very sad. Cry. Come on. Uh-huh. Don't have me call. <laughs> that was so sweet. It was like yeah, he really was, loved was, her. He man. wanted to be with her. Yeah. Was, yeah. All the feels. That's a good one. Like, I will put on any anything remotely close to romance. It'll be that one. All right, I got two. Go. I don't know. This is stuff to me. Like I, I need to have something that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Extremely funny, like gut busting. I still throw on it. I would probably still, yeah, Elf's a good choice. I'll probably still what stay about, for Bad Santa. What about Madea? Madea's Christmas. Do you guys like Madea movies? That's not I like them. I like, honestly, I, would I watch like the Halloween better. Yeah. I, I would like to watch Madea if it was like that too. I don't want Madea like it. Oh, friend. the holiday movie with Queen Latifah. You're yeah, right. Yeah, I like that one. That's, That's not bad. bad. That's not bad. That's That was not a bad choice at all. I forgot about that one too. That's not a bad choice. So, yeah. I don't know. I was just start singing. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, I forget her name, but I'm gonna go with her church jingle all the way because one of my favorite comedians was in there, and that's Sinbad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that's a great one to spend with. Yeah, bands. That's yeah, good that's laughs a good one. Still have a little cheesy Christmas feel. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Man, that's tough. Yeah, that's 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 tough. But again, I mean, we got, we have Elf, we have Friday After Next, we have The Preacher's Wife, Jingle All the Way, Bad Santa, that's five. That's five. Any good scary Christmas movies? Mm-mm. Oh. There's there, there, there one that I was thinking of, but I, I've never seen it, so I can't vouch for it. No, no they nah. have that one out right now called Antlers, and I'm like, mm-mm. Yeah, we saw that. It's not, it's not, it's not scary. It's scary and Christmas just don't go together. No, yeah. they don't. They don't. Now you could do uh what's it was that? One that's like, like a, it was a, a slasher it's a slasher film. film. Yeah. It was the, the girls in the in the sororities and the fraternities. Mm-hmm. Um, it was where the uh what's it called? Black Black Christmas. Yeah, Black, I think it was Black Christmas. I think it was Black Christmas, and that one it's different. It's literally about it's the it's group of sorority. Uh, it's a sorority. They're on Christmas break, and everybody has it gone home. Some of them are there on campus, and all of a sudden, there's like this slasher that keeps that starts killing them. But it's something mythical about a fraternity that's doing something with a, with a sorority. They like believe in this whole masculinity superiority thing. It, it was complicated, but it's Christmas. I don't know. See, I need my Christmas to make me feel warm and fuzzy. Like Jingle yeah. Jangle last year was my jam. Yeah, um, yeah. I loved it. Was- now I have a question for you guys because I'm pretty sure that you all probably watch um, more Christmas movies than we do. If you could pick your top three or if you could pick a Christmas movie channel to watch, would you watch Lifetime or Hallmark for Christmas movies? Neither. I'm going to watch ABC because that's where all the claymations are. Family. Oh. What's the <laughs> channel? channel? The new one called Freeform. Freeform. Yeah. Yeah. Freeform. yeah. They have, new one. They, I heard they got they have good stuff. Christmas movies. Mm. It used to be called Family Something. Now they call it yeah. Freeform. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 They, Which have is like how- 20, they have the 25 Days of Christmas countdown where they play. Yeah. Like that's top pretty 20 pretty found, yeah. Pretty pretty. Mm-hmm. Which means that I need y'all to watch so y'all can find out the year without Santa because that just, that just hurts my soul. That one doesn't Santa come on it. Santa. Polar Express. I bet it does. I bet it does. Polar, Polar Express. Express. Polar Express. Right. 
Like oh, the Polar I, Express. I forgot I about the Polar Express. Polar oh. Express made me cry. Ooh, it's Tom Hanks. It, 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 it made me cry. It is oh, sad. It's very sad. sad. I, it's not sad. It's just like... Right. Ooh. Uh, wait, I got one this more. This is a great story. One more good Christmas movie. Hook. Hook. Hook is a Christmas movie. You are it, right. Hook. Come on, it is a Christmas uh, movie. The live action. Yeah, with Robin Williams. But Rob, that is a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas yes. movie. Okay. Yeah, that's a Talk good one. That. That's a I'm good sorry. one. That's a good mix. That's a good mix of like classic story and Christmas yeah. match together. Well, that's not too bad. That's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick at all. I'm trying to think what else we got. Okay, so we got the movies down. Now, what are your must-have snacks for when it's time for either with family or with Bay? Oh. I'm going first. My, mine is a drink. Hey! <laughs> it, 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 it. I'm talking about some real eggnog. Eggnog. <laughs> we were just talking about eggnog. Real eggnog. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's with I Bay. Have, What's yeah, with, with I gotta have... have Y'all know, and I, I know every grandmama in them house got this, right? You got, you know, those cookies that come yeah, in a blue tin that when you got <laughs> right. in the house, you open it and it's like so and so. It's a so and those kid. cookies. So I want those cookies. cookies. Are bomb. Yes. They I need so those cookies. I only, not just the, I only like the pretzel the, one, though. I only want yeah, the pretzel one with I the, like those. The, yeah, I just discovered those. Yes, that's good. It can't just be any tin. It has to be the one. No, it has to be the blue one. The, the one where you take the cookie out, and it's, it's a whole other cookie at the bottom. Yeah. It's, it's like two la- three Double layers of cookies. Yeah. <laughs> it's layers. Yeah. They got the big ones in Target right now. Oh really? You gotta repurpose the tea in that. Yeah. Oh, bad. The holiday yeah. ones. They're like huge. They have like a whole bunch of them in there. Oh, the I need same them. ones with more. You're yeah. gonna be upset if you open it and you see sewing supplies. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's like the greatest disappointment. Mine is ever. money. Oh, oh, Mine is coins. <laughs> money, <yeah. laughs> pennies and coins in there. Yes. <laughs> I got the pennies and coins in mine. <laughs> Sorry, where the oh. cookie at? Right. Yeah, mm. definitely gotta have that for sure. I think we do really- like we do hot chocolate and we'll do Ooh. probably popcorn. Mm-hmm. Popcorns are always a good classic. Do you all do the one Lynn, where you like string it, put it in the string? Do you do this oh. decoration too? No, we used we no. used to. Mar- to we tried to make now. it a tradition. Ma- we, maybe we, we tried to make it a tradition at one point, but we kept eating the popcorn. So my grandma <laughs> was like, "Get my." But we need to right. put no stale popcorn up. No so Christmas some tree. some people use it as like decoration, where they take like a, a thin piece of thread and they literally thread the popcorn and make like a popcorn garland. Yeah, and yeah. they put it around the that, tree. Mm-hmm. And they put it around the tree. They would hang it up it. around the um, yeah. around the fireplace. Yeah. My grandma wanted to put it on the fireplace. Like I said, it didn't really make. I ain't wasting no good popcorn. <laughs> 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 we, do, we do we do hot that chocolate and then the gingerbread the houses. Tree. Oh, you gingerbread said hot chocolate and gingerbread houses. Gingerbread houses Ooh, gingerbread. and yes. 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 the hot that. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Hot chocolate, you can never go wrong. Yeah. Never go wrong with the hot chocolate. I, know. I just love eggnog. Put Look. a little Bailey's in it. I, I, I can't cheese. wait. I can't wait. No, I'm excited now. Yeah, I can't I'm wait. Awesome. So, what does everybody want Santa to bring them this year as an adult? Adults only, not your kids. You. What do you want Santa to bring you? I want a camera. Be more specific, because you never know who might be listening. I want a new Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that specific. <laughs> I can't be listening. Uh, um, I don't know. I really don't what know. I- I'm not a big Christmas. I don't really ask for anything for Christmas. I ask for stuff for my birthday. My birthday matters. I want all the things for my birthday. But for Christmas, I don't necessarily think about myself too much. So that's really hard to answer. Yeah. I want it for my birthday too. It's two weeks after Christmas. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I want a complete spa day and then a hotel to mm. myself. I've been dropping hints like just a hotel nice. to myself. Don't call me. Don't look don't t- me. Don't think about me. Yeah. Don't think about me. Don't DM yeah, that's a good one too. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> just a, in a spa day. That's a good one. That'd my yeah. a vacation. Yes, for the self care. Yeah. Put me on somebody's beach with no fupa. That's Ooh. what I want. Ooh. Come on, uh, Santa, bring the no fupa. With no <laughs> fupa. Go give it to somebody. They want a little extra. Wait. 
Yo, <laughs> <be nice friends. laughs> He's going to skip over my chimney with that one. <laughs> oh, I'm really still thinking. Lynn, what do you want? You know what? I, I, I would say a camera too. A camera? Mm-hmm. I, want, I want a Sony camera. It's a Sony a Sony A something, but it has the flip screen on it. When you yeah. flip the camera to the front. It, ro- it rotates like that? Mm-mm, like you can flip it so that way if I'm recording, I can see the little monitor and look at myself. Yeah. Oh, he's not like, he's about the, he about the. Well, he's he's not, he listening. Yeah, he's listening. Taking notes. Somebody taking notes. Who's taking notes? Somebody taking notes. Come on, Abby. 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 Come on, I don't know. Yeah, Lynn, what you want for Christmas? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm pretty simple too. Um, my husband, yeah. he's in the, he's in sales, and he oh every single year he thinks I want electronics, and I don't. Every <laughs> like a new phone, a new Apple Watch, a Wii, and I'm like, no. And I give him a list, so I kind of just stop. But um, I think I want some new UGG slippers. That's all. Simple. Nice. But the ones that you can wear at the house with the hard bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, if you bring electronics into this house this year, it's a wrap. Oh, you know, <laughs> I can sympathize with your husband. I think I'm kind of the same way. I think but I'm if, kind of the same if, way. If, if, yeah, we're it you, if we're dropping hints, nothing on that list had anything to do that needed to be plugged up or charged or, or a battery. battery. <laughs> <laughs> a list is different. <laughs> Give me some money. I'll figure out what I want later. Facts. <laughs> right answer. Right, 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 right here. Come on. Come on. Good answer. Good answer. That way I ain't got disappointed if I don't like the gift. You ain't got to be disappointed because you didn't get what you got. What? Hey. Give me some money. Yeah, and, I, and I get it. You, you get that's your gift. Yeah. Facts. Can't go wrong with money. Facts. <laughs> True. All right, y'all. Well, this was a fun conversation to have, especially just tapping into some Christmas movies. Um, Maybe some you've never heard of, some you have heard of, some that you love watching with the family or by yourself or with Bay. Um, But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed um, all of the movies shared by Dom and Tim of In Black Reviews. Um, Be sure to check them out. Of course, check the show notes. All of their information will be there. Um, Don't be a stranger. and you guys have a, I I'm not going to say it correctly, but I'm going to try. Okay. Simba, ma, ship. <laughs> Close. 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 Cinema ship. Close. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> cinema ship. Yeah, we do. Here cinema you go. Um, it is our cinema inspired subscription service where we're just reimagining movie night at home and we're sending you the snacks. Every month we host an awesome virtual watch night party mm-hmm. again and we curate the snacks from all over the country based on what you would typically get in the movie theater. Something sweet, something savory and, and something, something to sip on. So hey, for- hey. Hey. Period. Love it. Yeah. Love so yeah, it. Partnership and business and y'all are just like this like yeah. Hey listen. <laughs> <laughs> It takes some praying <laughs> and a whole lot of faith. A whole lot of faith. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. And we hope. No, thank you all for having us. Yes. We hope everyone has a great holiday season, great Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, you know? <laughs> Ooh, oh, all of them. All of them. <laughs> did I wait? Did I say? Did I say Kwanzaa? No, you said Hanukkah. Hanukkah. You said Hanukkah. <laughs> Kwanzaa. That's what it was. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. You don't know everybody's life. We it could you that leave it. It's fine. <laughs> you know it's gonna work. We, we, we covered every Diwali. We didn't cover everybody. Oh, that's what I all. Yes. 